Hey guys, so I just got done finally watching Emma, the new adaptation of the Jane Austen novel. I, uh, this is kind of like celebratory for me because this is the last of the movies that I, I'm catching up on that came out right before the shutdown happened. Uh, so, cause like that weekend we had Bloodshot, The Hunt, I still believe in Emma all come out to my theater. I didn't get the chance to see any of them because I decided not to go to the theater. And then right after that, fucking the movie theater shut down all around nationwide. So I had no other choice. I, I wasn't able to go. And But luckily all of them came out on demand. And now I'm finally all caught up. I'm like, yay! Um, before I do get into my review of the movie, I... Do want to uh, address something? Um, I the movie theater that I usually go to is Regal Cinemas. Uh, is a Regal Cinema, and uh, I don't know how many people have heard about this. And if you haven't, I'm now telling you. Well, and you know, you know, now you're being told. Uh, Regal Cinemas is uh, just announced like maybe about a week ago that they're going to officially reopen the theaters uh, on July 10th, uh, four days after my birthday. I was hoping it was going to be before my birthday, but you know it's on July 6th. My birthday's on July 6th, so but no, they uh, they're doing it on July 10th, and I'm sure a lot of people are wondering if I'm going to go to the theater once they reopen. And my answer is yes, I will. Um, I, I've heard they're going to do a lot of like old movies, so I won't do reviews of old movies. So, But I am planning on... I think the first movie that they're planning to release on July 10th is that movie Unhinged, which I really want to fucking see. Um, <laughs> that movie looks fucking amazing. Um... But also at the same time, uh, again, I don't like talking about current events going on, but uh, I mean, I don't have to say what's going on. I'm sure everybody fucking knows. Uh, things have gotten worse around here. Um, I live in America, if you are you know, watching this anywhere internationally. Um, and things have gotten a lot more, not much better. And... I'm hoping that they're not jumping the gun opening the theaters um, because they're saying they're going to open July 10th, but I don't know if that's going to be fucking not going to happen because I just read fucking New York. New York is not even, the state of New York is not even open theaters up yet. So that's a big fucking market. <laughs> like, that's a big city. That's a big state to have not op movie theaters not opened yet. I don't know what's going to happen. I, for the, for right now, I'm being told that we're getting theaters open back in July 10th. So I'll be there July 10th. I have to wear a mask. I, it, it's all required. And I don't care. Whatever. It'll be weird. But, it'll, you know, it's going to be interesting. I'll, I'll definitely do, like, uh, my thoughts on, like, my first experience uh, going to the theater, but in this new situation we are in. But, yeah, I, I, I like, I want to go support. I'm looking forward to Tenet. I hope they still are. I don't know. Like, I do think the theaters maybe need to get their heads out of their asses to just say fuck it and, like, for a while, just start putting movies on demand, video on demand, especially if they have to shut down again. They might need to. I, I mean, cut your losses, guys. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much movies, how much money the movie studios. I don't know what. At least I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, but as of now, July tenth, I will be going back to the theaters. So uh, here's the theaters reopening, and I hope everybody's staying safe. Anyways, Emma. Let's talk about Emma. Um, this was a movie that, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really have much interest in. Uh, I, I, if, if it wasn't coming to my theater, I probably wouldn't have gone seen it. <laughs> uh, I, because, like, I, it was not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea, man. It's like, I've never been a Jane Austen. Do I look like the key demographic for this movie? No. I'm not. Um. Uh, but, you know, I and I'm not a big Jane Austen fan. I've never been, I never really cared for those fucking books or the stories. But I, I never hated them either. But 
It's just like I said, I'm not the key demographic, but I said it had a talented cast. It looked really pretty uh, as far as like what the trailers. The trailer I got was that teaser trailer, pretty much. Ever that's the only trailer I ever got for this movie. It was you know short and really not much on the story, but I'm sure they just assume people that are seeing this movie know the story already. So I'm like me. Um, so what did I think of it? It was fine. <laughs> it was, I didn't like. It's again. It's like I predicted. It's not my cup of tea. If you like these kinds of story, if like you like the Jane Austen novels, I'm sure you'll love this. I don't know if any, but somebody in the comments can tell me whether this is a great adaptation of this book or not. I don't fucking know. I never read it, so I never read one damn Jane Austen novel. So I don't know. <laughs> um, I. I mean, there was there was entertaining parts about it. It's really well done. I, I, it was not a movie that really had my interest that much. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the acting in this movie is really good. It is really fucking good. Uh, I liked uh, Anna Taylor Wilde. She's a really good actress. Uh, every, almost every movie I've seen her in since The Witch, stuff like The Witch was when I first saw her, and especially Split. She was great in Split. Um, that was definitely a breakthrough performance for her in that movie. I almost forget that she was in The Witch, and then, like, when I, after Split came out, I was like, oh, yeah, she was in that movie. I was like, yeah, I love The Witch. The Witch is fucking nuts. Um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, but she, she is a really good actress, and she's really charming and, uh, very pretty, uh, and it really... A good actress who can carry herself easily in a in a leading role, um, even though this character is kind of a kind of a a very nosy person to say the fucking least, who just can't keep her nose out of other people's fucking business. It's like Jesus Christ, woman! Like she's I know the whole story is that she's a matchmaker and all that stuff like that, and all you know. It all goes sideways when she meets this new friend, Harriet, who she... There's all these kind of hijinks that go on with her and Harriet. I like the girl who played Harriet. Uh, she was in... I started looking at her, I was like, I thought it was... I was like, was she that girl who was the villain in uh, The Girl in the Spider's Web? I'm like, no. I was like, who the fuck was that? I, I said, no, it wasn't. But she was... I was like, what the hell have I seen her in? I was like... Because that's a face you recognize. Like, it's like I've seen that girl in something before. Uh, she was in Suspiria. I can't remember what the fuck she was in. That movie, the remake of Suspiria. I hated that movie so much. I really... I Man, I hated that movie. <laughs> I really fucking hated that remake. I never got a chance to review that movie. That movie sucked. <laughs> that movie sucked. I don't care what he says. That movie was fucking awful. Um, I hated everything about that movie. Um, but she was really good, too. I liked her a lot as uh, the friend who, uh, like, <laughs> who uh, has, like, all these attractions, but nobody really, uh, never, like, she can, she has trouble finding love, even though at the beginning she is proposed to by this guy who all of a sudden, or er, who... She turns down because she thinks a priest loves her, but the priest loves Emma, and yada, yada, yada. It's like, yeah, whatever. Um, and it's a lot of, like, this movie, even though I have, don't know the story, it's like, I could see, I've seen this story a million times fucking before. Like, anytime, like, there's like, oh, you think this person's in love with this person, but they're actually in love with this person. I guessed that, like, five million, like, 20 minutes ago, like, maybe even an hour ago that that shit was coming. I was like, I mean, I've seen this kind of stuff before. I mean, even though I've never read a Jane Austen novel, I know I've seen stuff like this before. Um, I love... Personally, my favorite person in this movie was Bill Nighy. And he don't he doesn't even really have much dialogue in this movie at all. It's just random shots of him in this movie that fucking crack me up. Because he's like... He looks disgusted for half the movie, and honestly, a lot of his reactions to stuff that's going on in this movie is about the same to, as my reactions. Um, it's fucking hilarious. I love that, like, he is, like, thinks that, like, the weddings are the worst day of his life, the worst days of his life, every time he goes to a wedding. 
or like any joyous occasions that for normal people he finds really like terrible. I was like, I love this guy. His character, I love Bill Nighy. He says so much in this movie with just his face. Uh, I love it. Like Bill Nighy's an underrated actor, man. He's really underrated. Um, I've always loved him as an actor. Um, the movie is really pretty. It's a really, really gorgeous movie. It's directed. This movie is directed by somebody named Autumn D. Wild. Like that's a weird name for a director. I'm like, what? Is, what the hell? Did they. I was like, it sounds like some indie director I've never heard of. But no, it's like a. I think it's like a music video director. This is our first film. I'm like, huh? All right, that makes sense. Um, and it's really gorgeous. It is a really gorgeous movie. Uh, I love the the look of this movie, and it was really pretty to look at. I have an HD TV, and looked nice to look at while watching it. Um, again, like I said, I this is not my cup of tea. It's one of those movies I saw everything coming a mile away. Like I said, even though I never read the books, um, I knew exactly how it was going to end. Like you know who. Emma was going to end up with. She was doing all this matchmaking, but she finds love and with somebody, and there's almost a misunderstanding at the end with her and Harriet and this guy and that guy and yada, yada, yada. Like, I know where it's going. It's like all these red herrings. Part of me was just, like, sitting there like, okay, get on with it. I know where this is going. Just get on with it. It's two hours. Come on, get on with it. I know where this is going. Oh, hey, look, it ended exactly how I expected it to. It didn't need to be this fucking long. <laughs> I'm like, I like, mean, it dragged a little too much for me sometimes in parts. Um, again, I'll, I'll chalk it up a lot, too, that I... It's not really my thing. This movie's not my thing. Um, like I said, if you like these kinds of books and you like the Jane Austen novels, I, you, I'm sure you'll love this movie. Uh, again, I, not the target audience. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, if you like this, if you like this, I guess that's my recommendation. If you like this material, you'll love it. I, I like, I liked, like, I was never that big into like the Little Women book or the movies, but I, I enjoyed the Little Women movie. I enjoyed it a lot better than this movie. Um, the recent Little Women movie. Um, but, yeah, it's fine. And it's like, it's it, it's a, one of those movies where I'm like, it's a bunch of rich British people with weird, rich British people problems, and I just can't fucking care. I just... Those kinds of movies, I really have a hard time caring for. Uh, anytime we get those fun, especially like stuff like that, and down, this and Downton Abbey, I could not give a shit about that movie. Uh, again, probably it doesn't help that I didn't see an episode of that TV show whatsoever, but whatever. Uh, that's as far as my review for Emma. Uh, I have on deck, uh, my next two reviews are going to be We Summon the Darkness and The Wretched. Uh, two movies that I'm sure a lot of people are like, what the fuck are those? Uh, two movies that came to my drive-in, but I just didn't, uh, I didn't go see them because I knew they were on demand, and plus, I don't like seeing horror movies at the drive-in because they're way too fucking dark, and I can't see what the fuck is going on, so I'd rather watch them at home. Um, but yeah, that's as far as reviews coming up, so, uh, until then, I will talk to you guys later.